Reversal leaves one family shocked. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Carrie Sharp. A good Samaritan stops and the woman needing help steals the Samaritan's car with her two children in the back seat. But get this, the kids fight back leading to an arrest. And first on 5, News Channel 5's Nick Barris talks with the family about this ordeal and we'll see dramatic cell phone video they shot from the scene. It all started here just off I-24 on Medical Center Parkway. A car stalled on the overpass. A family stopped to help. What happened next? Aya, her mother, and her 12-year-old brother Jacob pulled over when they saw Deshante Miller waving for someone to stop. When the mother got out to help, police say Miller jumped into the family's car and drove off with the children in the back seat. But Miller didn't get far. The two kids realized what happened and fought back, attacking Miller as she drove, causing her to lose control and crash into a tree. Everything was so fast. I was really trying to control the steering wheel, but she like was really strong. Like it was not really budging. We tried to pull her arm when she was leaning because she was threatening us. She was saying that she was going to kill us and that she had a knife. And so my brother was like, just grabbed her arm. I think he, he ended up letting go to turn like pull down the window down and scream for help. Haya shot cell phone video showing the panicked moments after the carjacking and crash as the suspect tried to run from the scene. You're going to jail. Uh, she's going to jail. She stole her car. She stole my car. It's not my mom. My mom. She took my mom. What she took our car. My mom was trying to help her. She said, please help me. Please help me. And she got out the car. She took what? the car while my mom was driving. That's my, my mom. Oh my God. Police quickly tracked down Miller, taking her into custody. Now, the family asked to talk only in silhouette on camera, but did provide photographs, which they said could be shown unblurred. It was a terrifying ordeal for the family, as both children did get out of the car, neither seriously injured, desperately looking for their mother. These photos show the moment they were all reunited, safe at the scene. I was very, like, happy that no one else got hurt, too. It feels like a dream. <laughs> Doesn't feel real. For now, Miller, who gave police a Georgia address, is locked up here in the Rutherford County Jail without bond. She is charged with, among other things, carjacking, aggravated assault, kidnapping, and reckless endangerment. In Murfreesboro, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. What an experience. Safety experts say it's understandable when you want to stop and help someone who appears to be in need. We've all thought about it. Certainly, it depends on the situation what you should do. But in many cases these days, the safest bet is to call police to report the